Hello colleagues, I decided to make a video about uh, coordinate system support in the new SPATIX release, just to make it easier to use. Now uh, the cut file settings menu item has uh, the new tab, CRS. Under this tab uh, you can see uh, the current coordinate system of the SPATIX file and also you can set the new one. This uh, setting affects uh, import-export tools and uh, WMS tools. So when exchanging anything between SPATIX and external spatial data, coordinates are reprojected from source to target coordinate system. Uh, by default, a new created SPX file has a pseudo Mercator CRS. EPSG code is uh, 3857. And uh, to define CRS, you can use either WKT, well known text format, or Proch.4 format. Uh, these are commonly used CRS definitions. Here is uh, the 3D vector data created from LiDAR data. I will read my point cloud. Vector data and point cloud have the UTM 32 north projection. Actually, it's uh, the result of data processing. You can see classified LiDAR data and uh, 3D buildings created from point cloud. Let's find uh, a definition for our coordinate system. Now just copy this text past it to CRS field and click parse. Now you see that CRS is changed. Now Let's try to connect web tile map service. For example, let it be Google Hybrid. And you see that raster tiles are reprojected on the fly. Another tool uh, that uses uh, coordinate system of the SPX file is the import-export IXAP. Uh, for demo, I have downloaded the OpenStreetMap data for this area in shape format. Here are downloaded files. You can see that uh, this data has longitude and latitude coordinates. And uh, firstly, I will load it in QGIS to check.
By the way, I used this free service to get data. Here is our layers in longitude and latitude. And now I will import this data in SpaceX. I will import whole directory, all features in this directory, and of course, I check this option to reproject data during import. Click OK. And now you see that the vector coordinates are correct. Finally, I will export SpaceX vector data to shapefile. I choose uh, footprints uh, of building models created from laser data. These footprints are located in the layer 3 in the SpaceX file. So, I choose layer 3, all elements in layer 3 and click export button. Define the target folder, in my case it's folder export and uh, target CRS in the dialog. Uh, you see by default uh, WJS84 is set its longitude latitude. If you need to use another CRS as a target, uh, specify uh, the text file with the CRS definition in the WKT or proj.4 uh, format. In this case, I will not change target system and I will click OK. Let's see folder export. You see new files. And uh, I add this layer to QGIS to check. You see that data is reprojected correctly and now we can compare LiDAR result with the OSM data. So that's all and I hope it was useful information for you.